Thank you. Good to be here. <clears throat> Absolutely. I want to start off with Venom because, of course, I was talking you up during the chat. Um, it seemed like every single play went through you. Uh, you had a touch on just about every chance and opportunity, whether it be a goal scoring or passing. Um, how did you become so dynamic in multiple aspects of the game? I mean, personally, they were easy for me to read in most aspects for what they were trying to do. So it was easy for me to, like, counter what they were doing and get a play on that for my teammates. Awesome. You definitely did a good job of facilitating that. Uh, Sub-Zero, congratulations as well. Uh, it seemed like, well, you were on the top of the leaderboard for the second game, too. Uh, talk about this team and the decision to stick with the same group. Um, what kind of led to the decision to not change rosters, but instead go back to this uh, combination of three? It, uh, I will say it, uh, <laughs> we did, we did make a slight change, uh, with Venom. Okay. Actually, he, we, it was, um, it used to be Nick, okay. but we, we decided to go with Venom because Nick used to, is, uh, he's getting a lot more busy now. So we, Definitely. and we wanted to level up our games. So we decided we were going to go with Venom. He's a high level, a higher, a lot higher level player than me and Manny. So um, we're hoping that having him on the team takes our game to the next level. And well, so I would... far, yeah, it really has. Awesome. Well, obviously, it was a good choice, <laughs> um, I would say, first and foremost. Uh, Xander, your questions for the two as well. Now, this one actually goes to like both of these guys. I'll start off with Venom. But with Venom, how did you actually figure out that you need to start switching up a little bit of the game plans or... You said you figured out their game plan. Did you need to switch up your game plan? Did you just continue with whatever game plan you guys had in mind and just stuck with it all throughout four games? We just continued with what we were doing, really. But I was just talking. I I kept talking to my teammates, you know, telling them what they were doing and then, like, how we need to, like, adjust to it. Because, like, they were constantly going for demos. Like, I kind of noticed they targeted me a little bit. So, like, I told them they were going for good for demos, so we needed to, like, play a little bit faster, try and avoid those. Uh, but everything they yeah. did, everything they did was just, I was able to counter it because I was able to tell what they were doing. So it just made the play, like, the gameplay a lot more smooth, a lot more better for us, opened up more opportunities. Awesome. Well, Venom, it was glad. Uh, again, congratulations to you guys on your victory. Um, and joining us in the booth now is Bot uh, Botafogo, which, again, I apologize for my pronunciations first and foremost. Uh, I'll go to Matt first here. Um, Matt, obviously, um, it seemed like you were do playing a good role as leader. Um, and uh, unfortunately, in that uh, in that one game, I believe it was game three, disconnected, but still got the victory. Was that one of those Rocket League glitches? And, and how do you stay mentally uh, sharp in order to continue back, uh, get back in the lobby and get that win? Uh, yeah, like well, we were like kind of down when it, when it happened. Uh, my keyboard, like it, not my keyboard, but the game was completely bugged and I couldn't like move my car, which was like this. <laughs> uh, and I just said that we need to like don't get so many goals until I enter in then. We luckily got the win, but we like we nothing went like uh, how we expected today. And Junitson and Salomino, great job uh, holding your team in there for that uh, particular win because uh, there was no goals on when you were playing two v three, and Matt was able to get to it. Um, Junits, I'll go to you next. Um, obviously, not the start that you want for uh, for the league, but it's a long season, so you just got to keep grinding. What thing? What are some things that your team is looking to improve on moving forward? Ele perguntou qual que que a gente tem que melhorar. Falei. Movimentação. Acho que movimentação e horário. Rotação também. He said that like we we are like. Not getting the moves that we had last season, and we are not getting the best rotation. Like, it was comp a complete mess today. Got you. Well, hopefully you all can uh, clean it up um, over the next little bit, obviously. Uh, Xander, any questions for our guest here? Uh, yeah, this one goes to anybody that's uh, on that uh, Botafogo team. Like, you guys started noticing like, because uh, Venom alluded to this one, you guys started going for demos, started to speed up play a little bit more. You guys did have the rank advantage, but even though you had the rank advantage, it didn't always seem to 
work out with the speed of play? So did you start ever start thinking we need to start slowing down play, start figuring things out, make a reset in our minds that if we start doing this, that things will start shifting another way? Or did you start thinking about it a different way? Uh, it was like uh, we always had this problem because uh, we play on 107p and like when the game don't doesn't work for us we like don't don't get uh what like uh, we can play it's based like this because the ping issues I, I'm not telling that it's the ping issues but when the game no, don't uh go for us we then ha happens this uh happened last season when we lost to. On the finals against Shrex. And this happened again against N7 today. Well, great Appreciate stuff. It. Yeah, absolutely. We want to thank you so much for uh, coming in for the interview as well. Um, and for the translations as well, Matt. Uh, thank you for joining <laughs> us. And good luck for, to you all for the rest of the season as well. Thank you, guys. Absolutely. So again, N7 wins this series. Uh, we appreciate the interviews from both teams as well. Matt in, uh, or Venom and Sub-Zero, thank you for joining us as well. Did I no problem. Glad to be here. Would I be able to awesome. Do comment? Yeah. Uh, any shout outs you want before you leave out? I just, I just wanted to point out that, you know, like our comms were definitely another big key towards our victory. Like our comms were really... Yeah. Really, really worked out, and we were able to pass or do those passing plays that we always do. Like that was just probably half of our victory right there is the just communication. That's awesome. Uh, any aspect about the communication that improved, or just more more communication in general? Was it was it more like uh, the structure of your communication, or is it just the fact that you're communicating more? Uh, probably just because we're communicating more. Because with me personally. Like this is my first time like being like on an actual like team environment because I just basically solo queue Rocket League and okay. uh, I'm I'm just joining this team so like I'm not good at calming but uh, the fact that we were able to calm a lot more and I was able to calm a lot more uh, it just really helped us out in a big way. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. Awesome stuff. I, I, it didn't feel like, you know, this is the first time for you being with the team just because of the simple way that you play it. It's such a complete team game. Like, all your passing was on point to you, and uh, maybe that's something that you learn solo queuing. Would, would you agree? Because you have to really, you know, adjust to a whole different level of play styles. Like, there's so many play styles out there. So solo queuing, you could argue that it almost helps you out because you have to play with so many. Yeah, like... In solo queuing, I'm constantly like changing what I'm doing based off of like what my teammates are doing and how the other team's playing. I'm constantly changing how I need to play. But uh, the uh, passing, yeah. if I, I'm like at my rank, you got to have at least some trust in your teammates when you do passing plays. So, like, whenever I pass or whatever, I can expect them to be there for that. Awesome. Any last comments or shout outs from you two? Um, I would just like to say, like, I will give Botafogo like lots of props because they uh, honestly halfway through the game we were we were just talking about the ping. We were saying how we we just got to get in their face, and get those fifties because the fifties are so hard to predict. But we were just making comments about how well they played with the ping. Like it, we couldn't really tell that they had ping. That's how well they were playing. So uh, I'm not sure if the game plan hindered them or anything but i will say like they played really well considering all that i definitely <clears throat> agree yeah. i definitely agree xander i'll toss it over to you sir yeah it was just a great overall game i i know we were talking about communication it did not seem like venom was brand new on the team it seemed like rotations were to perfection everybody knew exactly where to go exactly where to be and of course that can run a little bit with solo queue and you have to kind of mind read your opponents and with that it really seemed to help both of it all, all three of you guys out even though two of them have been playing on a team and i'll bring venom on so it's a great way to see that and of course thank you guys for coming on here for this interview it's been very exciting to actually let me and bear light actually get a little bit of insight of what you guys have been able to accomplish with even adding a new player onto your squad Thank, right, you thank, you. thank you for having us.
Absolutely is a pleasure. So we just heard from N7 Phantoms B, uh, maybe soon to be uh, Phantoms A, the way that they're playing. <laughs> um, really, really solid team there. And uh, of course, Venom, a very good addition to 